Hello, chat, and welcome to the stream. Hello! Hello! Grab yeah. yourself a, oh. a classic Brooklyn slice, everybody. From Yo. Domino's, specifically. Brooklyn slice! I hear Domino's is the only place you can get those, so... The only place... It's the classic Brooklyn slice! You the classic go Brooklyn slice! <laughs> You guys drive down to the Domino's off the highway, the Chairman Highway. You go in, you ask for the classic Brooklyn Slice. They're like, all right, let's get you a classic Brooklyn Slice. They open up the pie and they put it in the oven and you got the classic Brooklyn Slice. They're like, ah. I'm here with special guest Phoenix. <laughs> if you can recognize him at all. <laughs> halfway through a pot of coffee. I apologize for anything that happens. This is gladiatorial combat. It comes out of my mouth tonight. You never know what can happen around here on twitch.tv slash Shinigami Eater. But today we're going to be starting a very special game. It's called Pokemon Coliseum. Um, I love this fucking game, man. This was like my favorite Pokemon game by far. Uh, it's super cool. You can see all the shit happening right now. It's crazy. It's Gen 3, which is my favorite generation, but it's got like Gen 1 and 2 as well. This, this is generally where I tapped out of Pokemon. I was definitely one of those uh, classic Gen 1 only people, like when I was super young. And so like, to the idea of like adding anything onto like the initial 151 was like blasphemy for me yeah. for like the longest time. I understand. I get it. I know my brother like rented this game when we were both like super young, and he played it on on his own. But I barely got to watch him play it, so I have like zero memory of this game. Well, I'm very excited to show it to you because it's uh, it's not just a, a cool Pokemon game on the GameCube. There's also uh, some very cool stuff to it that is in like no other Pokemon game that is like really cool and unique. I, I'm naming this motherfucker weird. Coup. You know what this aesthetic reminds me of, kind of? What? Do you remember the old Zoids anime? Yeah, dude, I loved Zoids. Are you kidding? I was I'm super into Zoids. Zoids vibes. Yeah. I was, dude, I had the Zoids game on GameCube, which is another game I need to stream sometime. Oh my god, I played that. Oh my I god. I loved that game, bro. I, yeah. I watched I watched the show. I had a bunch of the fucking figures. Like, that was, when I was a kid, building Zoids was like baby's ver first gunpla. Like, I had never done oh, that yeah. before. But that, like, it was Zoids, and it was like a Japanese thing. But, and like no other American toys like made you build the toy. So I like that was the first time I ever did something like that. Start always rules. Is Ku okay? I don't know, ask him. Am I okay? What? That's what the game asked. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking to someone in chat. <laughs> no. I was drawing just never mind. It's Team Snagum! And the snag arm, or whatever it's called, I don't remember. The snag arm? It's like, it's a it's a device that will come Whoa. in handy. Yeah. And that's us. I, don't, I didn't like that smile very much. See, my favorite, fuck, one of my favorite things about this game is you play as, like, kind of a morally gray character. Like, you are, like, a thief. Yeah. <laughs> like, I am stealing this from, like, bad guys, per se. But, like, I'm, like, stealing this shit. <laughs> It's awesome, right? It, it's Fucking like rules. really interesting right off the bat. Yeah. Bro, this isn't this isn't your fucking dad's Pokemon. No, you've got a good and cool motorcycle. Yo! Right? Listen to this tune! Hold on, let me Soak it in. Oh yeah. Oh, play it for me. Oh, the ambiance. <laughs> like, when has there ever been like a Western setting in a Pokemon game? Why? We show sure big down, eh? I love chowing down after a job, especially on a classic Brooklyn slice. <laughs> it adds to the flavor, I swear. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. Boss will be sure to fix us up good with big rewards, too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. 
And they're fucking like Let's hover car. Go to Brooklyn. They're fucking hover pickup truck. <laughs> it All right. just looks like a street cleaner, like, like a street sweeper. Battles. Yeah. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Eklo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had been already abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. The news. As soon as I came inside this building, it got like wider. And then it, it went back. Oh. Did you see that shit? <laughs> I, uh, you, this person. Yo! Wait! Wait up! Oh, dude, I forgot about this guy. Hey, my name's Willy. After <laughs> I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Any way I look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. Well, my name's not Joe, so... So what do you say, Joe? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Fuck yeah, Joe. Willy. Fucking pink hair Willy. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right, all right. Over here, this way. <laughs> Dude, I've been I've been challenged to a fucking like duel at high high noon already. <laughs> yeah, I'm burning now. I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> Someone put me out! It's full throttle time! Oh, I picked the worst <laughs> voice for this guy. You don't have to do that voice. <laughs> no, I'm committed now. Okay. Vroom! Vroom! Let's roll! This guy's had vroom vroom. <laughs> Jesus. Vroom, and the screen like melts, dude. Awesome. That was very weird. Rider Willy, dude! Zigzagoon! He's got just two zigzagoons. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first fucking battle in the game. Jesus Christ. God, this theme goes so hard, too. I, I, I could have sworn that Umbreon was from Gen 3, but I guess I'm fucking wrong. Uh, yeah, no, this was- I mean, either way, I know this was not their introduction. But it was the first time they ever served as, like, the iconic starters. Yeah. Aniki Tony, thank you for the 42 months! This guy got wiped the fuck out. Wiped out. I still need seasoning. <laughs> My barbecue? Got any, got any seasoning? <laughs> Maybe some... Garlic salts. My my cooking if it could talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're tough. Real tough. Like steak. You did a real number on us. <laughs> hey, I know. Why not test your skills in Finnac City? Finnac, it's out I west assume? here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out there and get some battling in. What the fuck? Like, you need work, rookie, after you fucking wiped my ass on the floor. Look at this fucking place, dude. This, like, gear-powered fucking steam, like, powered-ass yeah. train. Very, very <laughs> steampunk. It's very steam. It's very punk. Oh, yeah, it is very Trigun. You're right. I've never watched Trigun. I should watch Trigun. The original Trigun is, like... So, so good. Look at this shit! This fucking map. Let's go to Phoenix City. That, that's a map-ass map. Now this is a map-ass map. Me, filing through the almanacs at the rest stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a map-ass map, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're this guy. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this... It won't stop squirming. Makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay. Settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. <laughs> Help! Someone let me out! Kidnappers! 
that tape didn't keep your yap shut. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, Trent, did the punk hear all that? The punk. <laughs> Look at <laughs> What do you see? Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. We're gonna fight you in a Pokemon battle, you shady guy folly. Shady guy folly. He's got a fucking Whismur. This is, this is Two Whismurs. Two Whismurs. Oh, I didn't even fucking realize, too. Uh, way different than most Pokemon games. We start at level 25. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I didn't even- I completely forgot. <laughs> Caramel Chris, thank you for the seven months! Fuck you, Wismer. Wismer's so fucking lame, and then it evolves into one of the coolest fucking Pokemon. I- I fucking hate its eyes. It's got butthole eyes. It's got anus eyes. And is the game too loud? Should I turn it down a little bit? Let me know. You took out my Wismer. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Huh? Wait a sec. That face. Might you be... Team Snagums? No! No, I'm not. What? Wait, what? What's going on out here? Eek! Somebody! Robbers! They're robbers! You, be quiet! We're not robbers! We're kidnappers! Get it? Kidnappers! <laughs> the distinction matters! <laughs> <laughs> you dingbat! Don't shoot off your mouth! Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once. The next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon, and all. Alright, see ya. <laughs> oh, yuck! There's someone inside here! <laughs> God, this is tied good and tight! Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do! Oh, shit. I didn't know I had control. I thought we were waiting for something to happen. <laughs> He's really taking his time. The sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot. This guy doesn't know how to fucking undo a knot. I gotta help him. The knot gradually loosened. Ku undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. <laughs> it's a new character! Yay! Yay! Thank goodness I'm saved! Where well, is this? Gotta go! <laughs> Where did those two bring me? This is Fennec City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And, uh, you are... Oh, so you're named Ku. I am... Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, shit. I forgot that you do this in Pokemon. Steve Jobs here. iPod for short. <laughs> Why is it wide again? What the fuck? What the oh hell is God, happening? It again. <laughs> okay, I see it now. I see it now on my end. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so weird. My name's iPod2. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys? Did they use a particular Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by a peculiar Pokemon? Oh, no, no, that's fine then. Forget I said anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's easy to see something's on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> hey, Ku, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else I can turn to. 
Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? Dude, escort girl. I, I'll try and fix this in a second, chat. Thank you, Koo. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If you're with me, Koo, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. iPod 2 became a partner. You have a, yeah. You, you also have like a, a party in this game to, what the fuck? What the oh, fuck? Oh. Pokemon Coliseum keeps switching to widescreen. Okay. It seems like maybe there is a setting that I should change. How do I, how do I fucking save? I forget how you do that. There's like save, are there save stations in this game? I feel like there might be. Well, let's hope there's one nearby. Is it a PC? 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 Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> it keeps happening! Save, there we go, okay, yeah. yeah there we go. You have yeah. to go to a save station. I completely forgot that's also unique to this game. Okay. Uh, Let me fucking... Also, very archaic. What's archaic? The save station kind of deal. Going to a physical location inside the game. In it's order not to... archaic. It's a it's a deliberate design decision. It's a creative choice. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See what's up with our Pokemon. Our uh, our Umbreon has a careful nature. Ku's old friend. They're both our our old friend, which is really cute. Uh, I love check, that. Check out my homie Espeon. He's pretty docile. <laughs> What are, you, what, what? what are you trying to say? <laughs> the reference. This guy's full I'm of references. I'm referencing the stream. We got Bite. Uh, okay, I'm just reminding myself what every fucking ability does. It's been a little while. Secret you have power. zero hearts in jam. An attack with effects that vary by location. Oh, right. Yeah, what the fuck is jam? I don't remember that at all. You're I don't know, but you don't got it. Whatever it is. <laughs> I don't got it on anything. I got it's negative concerned. jam on this one. Oh shit, I just noticed that. Confusion, yeah, 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 may cause confusion. The, the classic confusion. An attack that increases in power with friendship. Okay, cool. Pretty good stuff. Jam is negative points in contests. Jam is normally like that because they disrupt the opponents. Okay. I remember the whole appeal thing in, like, Pokemon, like, Ruby and shit. The, like, popularity contests or whatever they were. Talent shows, whatever you want to call them. Look at this shit, dude! Look at this fucking, like, classic Xbox UI ass menu. Look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was about to ask about the email. My email? You, know, you want to see my emails? I can change my alert tone? Oh my god. Nokia ass game. Oh, I think I had mine on this one because it's like the mirror B theme. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna use this one. It's nice. I like it. I have no emails. Absolutely no one is trying to hit me up. Ever. <laughs> Shame. That PC can be used not only to save your progress, but also to access the Pokemon storage system. <laughs> Old as fuck, guy. Things sure have become easy and convenient. <laughs> Shorts, they're easy to wear or whatever. <laughs> no Nurse Joys, by the way. That, that seems a little bit sacrilegious. No, I kind of like it. I, you know, I love when Pokemon is like, not afraid to shed away what is normally sacred. Uh, yeah, true. And this is such a like, weird, like, totally different kind of like, region that we're in. Like, it makes it, total sense there wouldn't be Nurse Joys it, here. It literally feels like you're on like, another planet. <laughs> yeah, they don't have Nurse Joy in this backwater <laughs> country. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I- I really look up to Justy, the leader of the pre-gym. <laughs> the what? <laughs> he's it's really the cool. Gym you pre. Of course, he's a really tough trainer at Pokemon battles, too. 
Hi, welcome to the pre-gym. This is a place for trainers and Pokemon to not only sharpen their strength and skills, but also body and spirit. Oh, okay, it's like a like a training gym, I understand. Hello, I'm Justy. I'm in charge of running the pre-gym. <laughs> Judging by your appearance, I say that you're traveling, the two of you. Well, what do you think? Since you're already here, do you feel like having a battle? Okay. Then let me introduce you to the trainers of pre-jam. It's kind of like kindergarten, but for losers. Kind of like kindergarten. You. Koo, go for it. I'll be right here cheering. Looks like you're ready. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> you know, I'll be facing four traitors. They're all a handful, but I can vouch for that. And now, this is where your opponent enters. Bring it the fuck on. Oh, it's this kid! Whoa! It's, it's Sora! <laughs> Do you feel like taking on some grass-type Pokemon? Then I'm the one you want. If you want some grass. You looking for some grass, some grass, bro? I can hook you up. I can fucking hook you up. I'm the plug around here. And it's not just grass. <laughs> <laughs> I've got powder. <laughs> Dude, hop him. I've, I've got to say, and maybe it's just the this game's presentation that's highlighting it for me. I think I hate all Pokemon's eyes. All of them? I, there's like a the pretty I've seen so far. There's a pretty diverse amount of like eyes on Pokemon. The ones I've seen so far, not impressed. Okay, wow. Okay. I I don't, I don't like any of these eyes. I'm a big fan of like most of these eyes. I really like uh, Espeon and Umbreon specifically. I mean, they they've got the stare down, but it's just Please zoom right I'm there. I'm not hard to impress. I just hate <laughs> eyes. <laughs> They ignore the Is chat. That's so wrong. Igna don't, don't pay no heed to the fucking the rabble. Okay. <laughs> I just hate those jelly-like orbs in you're, everyone's heads. I mean, you're not even like a Pokemon guy, right? Like you, like you, like you said, no, you stopped no, playing no. after like Gen One. So, like, I get it. I, I stopped playing after Gen One. I did pick up Pokemon Sun when it came out just because I love the aesthetic. Phoenix is not full of hatred. Give him a break. I am not full of hatred. <laughs> If I was full of <laughs> hatred, then I would have a much different opinion on the Matrix Resurrections. <laughs> hey, come on. There's no need to be fucking throwing shade like that. <laughs> I'm gonna toughen up some more. I hope you keep working too. Make some more money so I can sell you more grass. Oh, thank God it's not the same kid. Leave water type battling to me. I'll teach you just how strong the water type can be. Drink some water, chat. It's cool Liqui. trainer Liqui. <laughs> real, real inventive stuff, guys. Yeah. Let's, let's see this water trainer. What should we name her? Uh, I got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Liqui. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. Dude, Jesus. Meryl! I love Meryl. I will destroy them. I love Meryl. <laughs> Die. I use my lethal mind powers on it. Damn. Okay, fuck. This is what I meant by Espeon is gonna carry us through the whole fucking game. Their shit does way uh, yeah, more damage than anything Umbreon's gonna do. Let's try secret power, see what that shit does. Kill him! Kill him! End him. Meryl is dead. Before the attack type split, which means all of Umbreon's dark moves are special, which he sucks at. Wait, this was before the attack, the attack type split? The split was Gen 4?! Not what they meant, it's based on type. Every fire type move is special, every fighting move is physical, etc. Oh, whoa, that's weird! No, they always were there. 
Okay. <laughs> you know what, chat? I've decided I don't care. <laughs> I've decided I am full of hatred. Actually, I've decided that there's no way I'm gonna get a conclusive answer to anything, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep playing and pretend that the, I it doesn't matter. My goal is to become the ultimate water type battler. B b b back to more training for me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> Look at this little fucking foppish little lad. <laughs> this is a foppish lad right here. Is it you? Is it you? Did you want to battle oh, me? You don't look like a trainer. Well, it doesn't matter. You can learn how a proper trainer battles from me. Foppish lad moment. Rich boy Dugo. Dugo. What up, Dugo? Trap inch and swinnowed. Oh, if I could steal that trap inch oh. from you, it'd be gone in a second. PK something, thank you for the one dollar. Pretty much just gonna be sweeping through all this shit. Dude, swine up, you pathetic thing. Reminds me of like Buddha from Gurren Lagan. <laughs> oh yeah, the little mole. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that was his name. <laughs> Buddha. You're tough, even though you don't look it. <laughs> you look like a bitch. I will fuck you up. <laughs> the way you battle is, uh, interesting. You might say it's unique, or maybe it's just chaotic. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Ignore my simmering rage. It's like melting the floor of the elevator. And the last battle is... Oh, wait. I thought that was this was the last one. It's... It's girl, foppish lad. All right. You can be the girl. Your challenge is accepted. I do hope you're ready. Lady, Lady Gwyn. Gwyn. Fucking, like, from soft boss. <laughs> Ooh, Geodude. Rhyhorn, I know these Pokemon. Yeah, now we're seeing some familiar shit. Something that, uh, yeah. something that this fucking geezer can appreciate. Yeah, come on, give me some. <laughs> More of the old! I want some of the, the oldies. They don't make good music for the radio anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Beyonce? Fuck you, Ryan. I don't know who Beyonce is. Ryan became confused. Bite him. Bite his ass. Very good. My <laughs> legion of dark Pokemon. Oh my god! That did <laughs> so much damage. Sees the oldest Pokemon possible. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> it's like Fat Pikachu, like the old design for Pikachu. Yeah, Fat Pikachu. <laughs> I don't even have to see him, you just have to mention him. And you're just like, yeah, Fat uh, Pikachu. Modern Pikachu is completely unrecognizable to you. <laughs> what the hell is this? This ain't Pikachu. Who's, who's this yellow rat? Oh. I must commend you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Sorry, right. I, I, I got very excited when you mentioned Fat Pikachu. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My battling style must have been too sophisticated for you. And then there's the the gym leader, right? I thought it was only going to be four Suck battles. Okay. There we go. There. Whoa, that was inspiring. You showed me a great battle. It deserves a gift. I want you to have this. Hey, whoa. whoa. Hey, hey, man, like maybe like not around the children, bro. Come on, it's free. Just take it. You don't have a full party of Pokemon yet. When you get six of them, I'd like you to come and see me again. That's when I will be your opponent. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, shit. Okay. 
won't fight us until it's a fucking full-on 6v6, huh? Interesting. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? Fucking- Oh, they're learning about Fat Pikachu! <laughs> Fat Pikachu's on the board! There's some tips on Pokemon Fat battles. Pikachu, Fat Pikachu! Fat Pikachu! Fat Pikachu! Fat Pikachu! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're teaching the kids about Fat Pikachu. There is hope after all. Let's go! Indoctrinate the kids! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop at the fucking... Whoop. No, I'm not. Whoa. Oh my god, I forgot. It's fucking Sephiroth. Oh my... <laughs> Sephiroth! <laughs> hmm. I guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. <laughs> Takes a hit of like his herb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not committing to anything right now. But it would be cool to get all the possible snaggable Pokemon. I'm not committing to it right now though. Way too early to think about that. It would be cool to give myself more work. Welcome to Fennec Stadium. This is where we register trainers for challenges. However, the current challenge has already started, so we are no longer accepting trainers for this challenge. Please come back and enter the next challenge. Okay. I always loved this arena with all the like waterfalls and shit. It's really oh, yeah. nice. Calming. Very effervescent. I don't know what that word means anymore. Yo, it's the mayor! Yo! You're gonna be the mayor? Okay. Ah, uh, you must be travelers. <laughs> Welcome to Planet <laughs> City. I am Escade, the mayor. Now you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people. Uh, 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 oh my. Pokemon like a fighting machine and it attacks people. Now, if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. <laughs> it's true! It's true, Mr. Mayor! It's because because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm. I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor! No problem. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need for thanks. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish. Especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. Alright, calm down. Oh, yes. <laughs> you appear to be Pokemon trainers yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It is a breathtaking beautiful stadium, befitting our oasis city. Pins, and that's terrible. After Pixie all, Bombay, thank you for the 40 months. You're my wonder wall. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> come on, don't look <laughs> back <laughs> at <laughs> <your head. laughs> This is a repeat of an earlier news story. I don't fucking care then. Never mind. <laughs> Where are you going? This is my house. Oh, uh, dude, this robe. Fox news. Nice fucking bathrobe, bro. <laughs> oh, hi. Aren't you a cute guy? Giggle. <laughs> Giggle. It, it must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. <laughs> Giggle. Giggle. <laughs> oh shit, there we oh. go. 
Hey, Koo, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor. Oh, right, right, right. I remember now. We were, we like used to be part of Team Snagum. Reckon the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you rip off the snag machine? You got some nerve. Who are these people, huh? Are they Team Snagum? And what did they mean by traitor? Koo, you mean. That's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Snagum, just like us. But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. <laughs> he's the best in Team Snagum yeah. at snagging Pokemon without fail. No way! Is it true, Koo? Yeah. Oh, so it is true. That's a little shocking. We can be this guy. Hey, cool! Come on, hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag machine? Koo, do you really have something like that? What do you fucking think this giant thing on my arm is? <laughs> you think my arm just looks like that? The snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts the snag machine on, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls. I can steal Pokemon from their trainers in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth! Keep that stuff secret! I get it, Koo. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. <gasps> Ugh. That, that McDonald's sprite is fucking coming back on me. Creeps! No. What do you mean by creeps? God, this is getting us nowhere. If you won't give it up willingly, we'll take it back by force. <laughs> Team snag him, whack him. It's whack him. Whack him. Corfish. Dude, Corfish. I love Corfish. The spicy sprite. I got a Die, large. I, I got a large, so I've just been drinking this thing for like hours. <laughs> Oh, you're literally still imbibing it as we speak. Oh yeah, it's like it's almost gone, but it's it's still there. I've got to like finish this coffee. You're drinking a whole fucking pot? Uh, oh yeah. What the hell is wrong I can with do you? That shit. I <laughs> love coffee too much. I, I can it's do that <laughs> shit. I, I can I can do that. You ever need it's someone to drink a whole pot of coffee? Too. I'm your man. Yeah. <laughs> no! I'm not good enough! That's right, man. Ooh, who's that voice? Huh? I heard a voice. What voice? What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> you gotta stop drinking that coffee, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think my mom has, like, some, like, voice thing on in her house. Because I literally just heard, like... Out of the corner, out of the corner of my ear, like, sorry, I didn't understand that. I was like, what the fuck is that? That definitely was not from me or the game. Okay. <laughs> That's Phoenix, definitely. Phoenix, like looking around the room. I heard a voice. I, I, I heard a fucking voice. I don't know. What the, I don't know how to make it any clearer. I heard a fucking voice. <laughs> We're gonna get that snack machine back. Just you wait. I think you should check your house for CO2. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, what do you know, Koo? Okay, so you're from Team Snagum. Oh, right, to be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay, Koo. It doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. Oh, jeez. All right, lady, back off. Yeah, like, come on. I, just, I fought literally, like, two battles. <laughs> and they were easy, too. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought up something after listening to those creeps. Listen, Koo, we should go shopping for some more balls. Koo, okay. we have to find balls. Who the sells TikTok balls? Them. Do you sell balls? No one sells Pokeballs around these parts. That's common knowledge. That guy that runs the outskirts stand used to sell them before, but you have to keep that a secret. Listen, pal, if you're intending to travel some more, you might want to stock up on supplies here. Hi, can I ask you something? Don't you sell any Pokeballs? 
Huh? Pokeballs, you say? There's no call for those things around these parts. Where'd I put them now? Oh yeah, here they are. A little dusty, I'm afraid, but otherwise perfectly usable. Here, take these. I'll let you have them for free. Oh, shit, thanks, man. Does he have more? He does, he has great balls. Take a look oh, at my shit. great balls. I'll buy three of them, man. What's up, Willie? Oh, hey, it's you. I was worried about you. <laughs> Some rough-looking characters came around asking about you. It made me worried. Those guys, they look like they're from Team Snag'em. <laughs> Team Snag'em. <laughs> Snag'em. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh my god! Oh boy. Master Mirror B! It's it's him! He's the one who took the girl from us! Oh! Now aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these darling infants? That reminds me, I just got paid. Darling, so did you say your name was Koo or something? I so don't like saying this, but we're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. That sweet young thing, she could see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That just will not do for something we're planning to do. No, it just won't do at all. If you don't like pain like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it needn't be. Boys! Oh, oh yeah. boys! Holy shit, he's got fucking... Well, he's got like common Riders. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yes! Yes, we will! Boys, I shall make my return to Pyrite now. Do remember that I will be waiting for you to return with the little lady. Am I making myself clear? I won't accept failure from you again, boys. <laughs> Let the music spin! Let's get it on! Dude! Mirror B! Oh my god, man. One of the greatest fucking characters in anything Pokemon. You! 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 The last time, you caught me off guard. That's not gonna happen again. Oh man. Mechanical Riddle, thank you for the lead donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Oh, he's got a low tad this time. He's not fucking around. Oh shit. I think the color hints which Gen 2 starter they have that you can catch, but that's I'm just my vague theory. <laughs> PK something, thank you for the three dollars. <laughs> Me when I come downstairs for dessert, I'm going back to pie right now. <laughs> Lol. So th we're still in like very early days. Oh yeah, super early. Okay. This is a long game. They really let Bro cook with the Umbreon and the Espeon. <laughs> I'm, I'm Maverick Drifter, thank you for the 21 months. They did let Bro cook, dude. I love Umbreon and Espeon. Such a fucking cool, like, duo of starters to have. Oh, I blast it! I got tripped up again! Guys that say, aw, blast uh, it. Uh, <laughs> Type of dude to say, aw, blast it! Aw, <laughs> oh, dang it to heck! <laughs> My turn now! I'm not gonna end up like Folly! His fucking name is Folly, bro. Mirror B P on Trudley! <laughs> Trudley? Trudley! Oh, he's got a dust go! Whoa! Give me that! Give me that dust go! Fucking like Mad Max Fury Road. That's mine! <laughs> <laughs> The cool Pokemon. I'm Peter Griffin. This is my song. Oh, it's the first Dark Pokemon. Whoa! 
Koo, it's that one, that Pokemon. Those jerks captured me because I saw that Pokemon. I could see a black aura coming from it. They must have done something to that Pokemon. Koo, be careful. This Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people. Oh, shit. I know, Koo. I hate to say this, but there's no other choice. Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys. Please, you have to. You can. Actually, only you can do it. Hopefully this confusion does not completely murder this Makuhita. You completely murdered that Makuhita. Motherfucker, dude. Catch all shadow Pokemon failed! Is there no other chance to get that one? All shadows can be reobtained. Okay. Whoo! Okay, Yeesh! Darn it! But you're good! You knocked out my Pokemon! Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed! Oh man, what are we supposed to do? We got flattened again! Mirror B's gonna chew us out! What do we do? What is there to do? Run away! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's disappointing that we couldn't snag that Pokemon off of them. <laughs> but I'm sure there are others <laughs> like it. Let's get all of them back from the bad guys. Peter. Family guy. <laughs> Where's Lois? <Lowe? laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to read something Wait. that I saw Leon say earlier. Ku, I first followed you when you were singing your Family Guy song playing Pokemon Ruby or something. Damn, was it during a- it's been a long time since I played another Pokemon game. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not about to let you pass. Or do you have this idea that you can take me in a battle? Wow! <laughs> Who's gonna beat me? You are? Don't be crying out of regret later. Mystery Troop Verde. Like the Salsa. He's got a Bay Leaf! Oh shit! And a Grimer! Oh shit! I like both of these Pokemon. Oh, and one of them is Shadow! Oh. Dude, we got a Shadow Bay Leaf. I'm catching that shit. Now, this is some music I can reel in the years to. Dude, stop lowering my stats so much. Holy shit. Perhaps even stow away the time. Yeah, this is scary, right? They're using fucking shit that lowers it by, like, two stages. Oh, the swirly eyes when he dies. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, one more bite should do it. You've got to attack, We've got to him. attack him. We've got to- SHUT 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. Oh, right, Ooh. it hits both. I forgot that's a double move. I need this bay leaf. I need this bay leaf on my fucking team. Oh, dude, it's in the red. Uh, uh I'm gonna use a Pokeball. I'm gonna use Ooh, another Pokeball on. just in case. <laughs> the snag machine is charging. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I forgot. Stupid newfangled technology. Get him! <gasps> Come on, he's in the red. Come on. Come on. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Ooh, yeah. baby! And I know exactly what I'm gonna name that Pokemon. If anyone is familiar with previous Pokemon lore, then you might know what it is, but uh, literally no one has said it in chat yet. <laughs> Mirror 
Mary Hanna. No. <laughs> Mary Hanna. Mary Hanna. <laughs> Is that oh Mary Hanna? <laughs> do, 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 do. M I R I J U M A G U A N. What was that Mera? strange Pokemon? What did you people do to it? That? It's a Pokemon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. <laughs> I forgot that that's the explanation. <laughs> no, you didn't! You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? <laughs> Knowing that's not gonna help you do anything. Come on! <laughs> I know. When I was little, I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can gradually be reopened by battling together with it. Cool, let's go. Oh, yeah. Those guys are probably headed for Pyrite Town. After all, it was in Pyrite that they captured me. All right, move. <laughs> Get the fuck out Thank of the way. Thank you, Exposition Girl. Construction, Construction lot. lot. Is that Pyrite Town? I guess. It's probably in the way of Pyrite Town. At the very least. Whoa! Dad, look at these fucking environments, bro. Fucking Bomberman 64 ass looking floating island. Whoa! Hold it there. This is a construction site. It's not a safe place to be. This is no place for tourists to visit. Go on, scram! So this is not in fact it. Oh, now we have Pyrite Town, okay. Okay. We had to, had to go here first, I guess. I had to piss. At the construction lot. Yeah. Dude. Oh my god, this music. I know! <laughs> uh, you can be this guy. Aw, oh, Mr. Johnson, give a man a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. That better be true, Kale. If you're not tr if you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? All right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See you. <laughs> well, all right, man. Asshole. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> what a fucking nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. Dude, what up, Kale? What are you looking at? I haven't seen your faces around these parts. What are you? Tourists? If you don't want to get hurt, you should get lost. And quick. For the good of your health. <laughs> Alright, man. Fortune telling! Yo! Oh my god. You mean this guy? Pe people call Fatine the mother of Pyrite. Her ability as a fortune teller is highly regarded. Why, just a while ago, she even determined where my wife is living since she left me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Find what you seek, be it an object, person, or luck. Welcome to Fatine's fortune telling chamber. Whatever your problem may be, my fortune telling shall lead you to the solution. Fwo 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 fwo. Everyone has the silliest laughs. Fwo 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 fwo. Is that is that dollop? What is it? <laughs> oh whoa! Oh. Hey, what's up, man? Fucking huge McLarge over here. The name's Duking. I run the Coliseum here. If you I am wanna currently Duking. I can't get out of this chair. I've grown too much muscle and I no longer can get out of it. If you wanna enter a battle, go see the Coliseum's receptionist. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Don't bother me, I shit where I sit. <laughs> I can't get up. This fucking town made of scrap. We've just received breaking news! According to the arrested Team Snagum member, the, lar the smaller snag machine is compact enough to be carried by a single person. 
Wearing this machine transforms ordinary Pokeballs into snag balls. A snag ball is an alarming device. It can actually steal Pokemon from their trainers. It is hoped that the missing Snagum machine will not be used for criminal purposes again. Dude, the news. Oh shit. Oh shit! Ooh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, Chief, but there's trouble afoot. You see, Chief, there's talk that thugs have been witnessed using that strange Pokemon. Huh? Chief, you're not the Chief. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I've heard about it over and over already. Oh, oh, Chief, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> Dude, this fucking doofus. My name's Shirls. I'm the chief of police in this town. Are you two travelers? Shirls. I see. Well, whether you are or not, it would be best if you were to get out of the town as soon as possible. Get out of town. Get the fuck out of my town. This town's descended into a state of lawless chaos. I couldn't guarantee your safety if anything were to happen. Just like a real cop. Damn. Yo, your outfit's kind of weird, but you're a trainer too, aren't you? Good. That's okay then. I'll teach you about one of the few rules this town has. Here, we have street battles, rather than exchanging greetings. Oh shit! Here, we beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. I know this guy's got a dark Pokemon. I, I remember this from way back in the day. Oh, I guess neither of these ones aren't it. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. All they can use is Shadow Rush until you fucking purify them. Uh, let's hit the Sentret. Kill him. They fucking recoil themselves every time they use it. Is it this thing? Don't tell me it's a shadow yeah. slack off. Okay, it's not. Never mind. I must be thinking of some other guy. No. I think this is just a guy who sucks. <laughs> this is just a dude who sucks. Die. Look at him, he like oh, he God. like wobbles when you hit him. <laughs> Fucking foils his arms around. You know what this Pokemon reminds me of? Me? Tom York from Radiohead. Wow, that is not what I was expecting you to say. Holy <laughs> shit. That's quite a pull you got there. That's that's Tom York right there. May I ask what the fuck about him? Oh shit, it entered hyper mode! May I ask what the fuck about this Pokemon reminds you of Tom York from Radiohead? Oh, I mean, look at him. Okay. <laughs> Is it the eyes? Right it, it could be the eyes. <laughs> the the profound grief behind those eyes. <laughs> the profound grief behind the slacking's eyes. <laughs> Slack off, it. I mean, sorry. Slacking is the <laughs> next one. I tripped myself up, but you're not bad at all. Your Pokemon are tops too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. You're just like us. It's easy to see. F -f 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 Goodbye <laughs> forever. F -f 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 the hotel. <laughs> Greetings. We've Welcome to the Pyrite like Super Grand Hotel. Stay in one of our ultra gorgeous suites, and you'll be refreshed like brand new. Your Pokemon too. It's a mere 100 p a night. Will you stay with us? Fine, fine. I hope you enjoy staying with us. Yeah, sure. Why not? 100p. It's only 100 piss dollars. So, did you get a good rest? The next time you need to stay, make sure it's right here at the Pyrite Super Grand Hotel. It wasn't that long ago when duking was the, the man in Pyrite. But now, that's right out there weird mirror B. 
<laughs> and his stooges right ride herd over the town. I wonder what's so special about that mirror B guy. Oh, he's only the greatest. Only the, the best fucking... there ever was. Coo. It was here in this square that I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful. Even at the best of times, there's nothing normal about this town. It's not normal. Oh, look what we have here. You're quite the hottie. Why don't you lose that wallflower with you and be my sweetie? Oh, shit. Wait a second! Who are you to call me a wallflower? What about me makes a wallflower? <laughs> Look at her! She's all serious! Uncool! I'm only teasing out of boredom. A guy like him, he's not the my taste. Grr, that's it! I'm furious now! Koo, be a man! Stomp her down! Whoa, Jesus what is- Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute! Whoa! Stomp? Who? Me? <laughs> That's a laugh. Come on then. I'll go easy on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She's kinda bad though. <laughs> she, she, she kinda bad with it though. She kinda she bad, bad though. Wait, is, is that, that frost? frost? <laughs> <laughs> she got a zoo bat. No shadows. When are we gonna find some fucking shadows? <laughs> Damn, she got a bad. Is that Frost? <laughs> You're still gay. gay. No. You're, You're gay. gay. You're... <laughs> Damn. Okay, the one hit shadow rush. Fuck. Dude, Gulpin dies horrifically. It's so scary. <laughs> it's so fucking terrifying. <laughs> you looking to battle with me? That's too funny. Come at me as if your life depended on it. <laughs> Rider Vant. Vant. What up, Vant? He's got him the fucking crotchless chaps. Looking good, my man. Dick's out. My yeah, my dick is out. We got this fucking mischievous here. We could try catching that. Oh shit, we got synthesis now. It's unlocking more moves. Why do people say crotch slash assless aren't all chaps just legs? Yeah, but it's way funnier if I acknowledge the fact that there's no crotch. What oh the fuck? Oh my god. Hey, this guy's pants is missing a dick and ass. <laughs> don't, you, don't you know you need the whole thing? My name's Vant. Fuck with me. <laughs> Fuck with me, I dare you. Uh, I'm going for it. I don't even, honestly, I can give or take a mischievous, like whatever. If I miss it now, that's fine. Okay. Oh? Oh? Oh, we got it, baby! Shit! And there's a skinny. Skinny! Kill it. Oh, I will. This skinny will not survive my wrath. Oh shit. We're about to enter hyper mode. Do I know what that is? It's that. Uh, skinny straight up had a stroke. Oh! <laughs> My dick! <laughs> I think when you say assless chaps, you're implying they have nothing on besides the chaps, like ass, dick, and balls loose. If you say chaps, then you're a real cowboy. No, they're assless. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sorry, they're they're dickless and assless and ballless. Sorry, sorry <laughs> don't correct me ever again. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Know your role. Did you know, if a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, call its name and its head will snap back into reality. Oh, right. Hyper mode is like they stop taking commands from you and they just start like doing whatever they want. Oh. Only shadow Pokemon do that. 
Why do the trainers here have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of it now. This town's hiding a big secret. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not convinced. This is Dual Square, where even crying kids know they'd better shut up. This is where roughnecks gather. So, how about it? How would you like to battle with me? Excellent! I like a man who can come to a quick decision. <laughs> Let's have it out! Oh, uh, yeah? Right over! Nover! 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 Ooh, Knocked Owl! Please be a Shadow Pokemon. I want that Knocked Owl. Ah. Wait, I forgot. Is it is it before or after? Oh, it's after! No! Oh. Yes! <laughs> Let's uh -oh. go! I love Knocked Owl. My aura! My fucking aura! You detected my aura! Dude, aura? Nice JoJo reference. <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> I don't get those. I don't get those. I don't read JoJo. And he's got a wingle. Bite him. Bite him. Okay, that did, like, so little. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Bayleaf is in hyper mode. I gotta call him. Uh... Kill this Wingle. <laughs> I love that you just like yell at it. Bayleaf! <laughs> it snaps out of it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I think I fucking hate Wingle. Oh, come on! <laughs> I just. No, this What's is wrong also with him? This is also informed by my experience playing Pokemon Sun and encountering like 90 of these motherfuckers in a row. <laughs> he fucking turns into a big fat pelican when he evolves though. Come on. I love the pelican. I love the pelican. Come on. I just hate Wingle. Come on. You meet me halfway here. I love pelican. I hate Wingle. You hate him? I don't get it. Damn, this knocked out was fucking tanky. You are so full of hatred, part two. <laughs> Get on my fucking level. <laughs> I don't want to be full of hatred. It's fun. No. I won't Resident do it. Resident hater. I won't do- What? That's- Are you talking to me? I'm talking to chat. I'm okay. regurgitating what they're saying. Okay. I know your ass isn't calling me a resident hater. No, I'm the resident hater. Thankfully, I'm the opposite. I like Wingull, but I'm not a fan of Pelipper. Go fuck yourself. Now that I can't abide. Now that I cannot I, abide. I yeah. See, you're on my side now. I, I'm i like, that literally tipped me over. I'm on your side now. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe someone caused this to happen. Hatred wins in the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's not what I mean. Hashtag hatred wins. Bite him. You bite him. Bite him. Thank God. Thank God. Thank Christ that happened. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about fucking time. We're getting there, baby. Sleeper agent in chat to tip crew over to the haters' side. I'm not on the haters' side. That's not. That's not what is happening here. I'm just. I'm just saying that if I had to pick one, it would probably be fucking the big, the pelican one. Pel what's it called? Pelipper. Pelipper. It would probably be Pelipper. So, you know, it's. It's. I'm just picking lesser of two evils here. Pelipper is cool because its mouth is the perfect size for a baby. <laughs> so they I, say. So they say I, in, in folklore. In. F <laughs> <laughs> the 
fuck are you wow, talking that... about, man? <laughs> I'm not it's just reading what occult books put in chat. <laughs> and it like like, <laughs> like what? It threw me so far off my shit. I don't know what to think anymore. Snag him! Had to use a great ball to make sure I got this fucking owl. <laughs> I'm not insane, I promise! Nah. Sounds like something an insane person would put in chat. <laughs> I'm not insane, I promise. In all caps. <laughs> right then. I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, its attacks become more likely to be critical hits. What a surprise, eh? <laughs> Dude, I love I love her fucking whole th shit she's got going on here. Oh, do you feel like sticking around for a demonstration of my Pokemon's moves? Good, good. I like your attitude. Feast your eyes on these. Huh? Nuts! <laughs> These nuts! <laughs> Street performer, performer DiGiorno. It's an play Ampy. Trumish. DiGiorno. It's not delivery. It's Flaffy! Oh, which one? It's Flaffy. I don't want. Uh, I'll try and catch it, but I don't really want it, to be honest with you. Ooh, fucking Flaffy. Fucking boring Pokemon, if you ask me. Fucking Deco and Rab himself went out and got a Flaffy and rode it over to Ape and Phil's house. And... <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Bam Margera impressions. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Deco looks so haggard after he caught that Flaffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a hater, Chad. I didn't say I hate it. <laughs> Relax! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a hater! Dude, Shroom is like backing up with his little feet <laughs> to like charge his move. I, I got, Shroom, Shroom, Shroomish is winning me over. I, I be love Shroomish. If Shroomish were the dark Pokemon here, I would make sure I do everything in my oh, power yeah. to catch him. Like, uh, I can't speak to the eyes because, again, I hate all Pokemon's eyes, but I do love the furrowed brow. Yeah, he's, like, pissed off. Pissed uh, off always. <laughs> so, yeah, I, 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 I will say, Shroomish, first Pokemon with eyes I like. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Sh I wasn't expecting Shroomish to be the one that wins you over. Sh Shroomish won me over. No, you bitch. Uh, you know what it is? Shroomish? Butterfied hater. It's because it's cause of his fucking... No, he has no. like a like a Neanderthal brow. There's, there's nothing equ equivocating about hatred and anger. Hatred is a lifestyle. You can be happy and hate. I see. Uh, bite I'm this on, Flaffy. I'm fully on board with this. What did you say? I said bite this Flaffy. <laughs> For some reason I thought you said, oh, I understand. Bite this cyanide tooth. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> it's just like... Hmm, I understand. Bite this onions. Bite this onions. Bite right this now. fucking onions. Get him. Can't believe I wasted a, a Pokeball on this fucking thing. Submit! Submit to me. You outperformed me! Alright, I'm gonna go fucking rest at the hotel because our Pokemon are looking haggard right about now. You're, You're surprisingly haggard as fuck. I'm fucking haggard as fuck after that Pokemon match. Fucking, <laughs> fucking Deco and Ram himself are going out. <laughs> fucking Rake Yon got the fucking snow machine. <laughs> You're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little secret about certain Pokemon move. The move Shadow Rush inflicts damage on any kind of Pokemon without being affected by their types. The amount of damage doesn't vary with the target's Pokemon type, so it's easy to use. Oh shit. Oh. 
Sure. Donate now to twitch.tv slash shitting eater if you know what's fucking good for you, punk. Give him your fucking money. If you know what's good for you, you'll put the money in the box. This is a stick up. Yeah, she. Do you have Pokeballs Until we here? get that Breathe Right sponsorship, you better fucking pe pony up. Motherfucker, dude. Dude, the Breathe Right sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> I We're get gonna it. We're going to get it. I fucking, I tried, like, breathing strips, like, nasal strips a few weeks ago. I get it now. I'm, I'm telling you, nothing to do but bask in the luxury of breathing correctly. I don't think I'm someone who, like, snores. I've heard mixed reports. Some people have said I snore in my sleep. Some people have said I don't. Um, I don't think I'm a snorer, but it definitely just, like, feels nice to just have your, like, I, nose all open I, and stuff. Oh, for sure. I definitely have like undiagnosed sleep apnea. That sucks. So it, it's it's it does suck, but uh, the no strips definitely help a whole lot. If you try talking to anyone in Dill Square, there's only one answer. You do? I do? Who are you? What? How do you know? <laughs> Big ass pants I, who, and shit. Who, 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 who the fuck are you? <laughs> you? What are you talking about? You do? <laughs> Did you bug my house? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh shit. All right, we got another shadow Pokemon on our hands. We know. <laughs> we know. Sleep uh, apnea. Oh, she's so eepy. Oh my god, these fucking spores. No advice, chat. I don't want to hear it. I'm saying it right now. I don't want to fucking hear that shit for the rest of this game. I don't want any advice. Unless I ask. I don't want any tips. I don't want any pointers. Alright, I'm the po Who's the Pokemon master here? Me or you? <laughs> this ain't Tips and Tricks magazine. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, PK something. I'm just saying. I'm just making it clear for the future. Try Fulcrum. <laughs> yeah, have you tried Fulcrum yet? <laughs> Try a rock and stick. Ugh. Fucking skip room. You bitch. I love the idle animation of the bay leaf as the spores come into its face. It's like trying to huff in as many as humanly possible. <laughs> trying to inhale as much as it can. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till we get Koo Items merch. <laughs> you mean Koo Tools? <laughs> Koo Tools? Someday there will be coo, coo tools. When I get like a a brand deal in uh, cooperation with like Kershaw or some shit. <laughs> Kershaw. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> I have a. I, they were just the first people I thought of because I have a, like a pocket knife that's Kershaw. That's like I use it for fucking everything. <laughs> it's a really nice knife. It, cost, it was like a hundred dollars and I bought it like five years ago. Yeah. It's a really nice knife, man. I'm just saying. Get a brand deal with a 3D printing service to make Koo Tools. <laughs> just, I just have, like, toys on my merch shop from now on. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, that was an incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That's L-O-V-E. If you ever get the urge to battle with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. All right, we're fucking leaving. Yeah, rest my fucking Pokemon. That's right. How many do we have now? We got a full team. Shit. Dude, let's go take on that guy that's here. Oh, hello. I guess you finally got your six Pokemon for your party. Well then, would you like to battle against me? Let's fucking do it, man. Okay, gotcha. This is making me feel sort of giddy. Are you ready to go? 
Or the battle arena in the center. And stand on the left hand side. Beat him now or no balls. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, if I lose, everyone in chat is gonna call me no balls. <laughs> <laughs> no balls? Coo. <laughs> Coo, go for it. I'll be right here cheering. Unless you lose, and then we'll call you no balls. Okay, let's get this battle underway. Show me a great battle. We will. <laughs> Ballsless chaps, Koo. <laughs> oh, he's got a sand true. Oh, oh, no. I know that one. I remember this. That Gligar is going to fuck me up. I know it. He's going to summon a fucking sandstorm, and it's going to be the bane of my fucking existence. I need to kill that thing right now. Chat, what type is Gligar? Um, he's like rock flying, isn't he? Or is he poison flying? Or he might actually, he's, he might not even be flying now that I think about it. Ground oh, flying? Shit, level 41. Holy shit, you're right! Well. <laughs> Into the brink. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, ground flying is what Gligar is. Say goodbye to your balls. Say I vita zen to your Nazi balls. I just rewatched Inglorious Bastards the other day. We need to watch that for movie night again soon. It's been long enough. You know, that's probably one of my least favorite Tarantino movies. But really? Like, I, in my opinion, yeah. But I mean, it speaks to the quality of Tarantino because I still enjoy it. Yeah. It's up there as, like, one of my favorites of his, I'd say. I, I, it, gr it grows on me every time I watch it, but I, I remember when I first saw it in theaters being very negative against it, and then it growing on me, like, over time. Now, that is interesting. I have actually, to date, not seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Don't bother. Really? I mean, no, not really. I'm... It's not that bad. It's just like, it's it is like my my least favorite Tarantino movie. Huh. That that honestly makes me just want to try it, just to see kind of how I feel. Go ahead and watch. Hey, I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate. No, it's, no, it's, a, it's a fine. Is it's a fine. Silver Streak chat is is it taken is clearly taking offense to what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not a bad movie. But it is my I, I, least favorite Tarantino movie. <laughs> I, I appreciate dissenting takes on things because they often are more enlightening than positive takes. It also has the like the most like offensive usage of the Tarantino foot shot. I maybe really, offensive even, isn't the right word. I'm trying to think of how to describe this. Even, even more so than uh, fucking Death Proof. Which what happens in that movie? I forgot. De De Death Proof, like the first hour, it's like all feet. Really? I don't, man, I haven't seen Death Proof in a while. Oh man. More, more than that, Kill Bill? Yes, yes. The scene. Oh yeah. The scene where Margot Robbie has her fucking like foot pressed up against the window and dashboard of a car, and it's like directly center frame is so pervert. It's so pervert. I, I still, <laughs> it is extremely I, pervert. There, There is a scene in Death Proof, like, near, like, the midpoint, where, like, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character is, like, lounging in a car, and she's, like, in that yellow cheerleader outfit, and her feet are hanging outside the car, but she's, like, asleep, and uh, Kurt Russell, the villain, his character, like, comes up to the window where her feet are hanging out of. Kill and Bill's like, close-up of Uma Thurman's foot is, like, at least for a plot reason. It, like, makes sense for so long. I didn't even, like, put it together that that's why it was like that. Because I just was like, yeah, it makes sense. She's paralyzed from the waist down for right now. She has to, like, wiggle she, her fucking feet. It makes sense to me. She has to wiggle her big toe. In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Margot Robbie just puts her fucking feet right up on the dashboard of the car for no reason. It's just in frame for no reason whatsoever other than woman putting her foot on the dashboard. That's it. I don't want to fucking hear it, Silver Streak. 
I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I, I gotta watch this fucking movie now. <laughs> Oh, but what I was, I was going to say, because I, I just reminded myself, the thing we need to do for movie night... What? Watch all of Grindhouse. Oh, trailers no! <laughs> the well, trailers, dude? On. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, I, 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 I watched that movie in fucking theaters. It's been a long time since I watched the Grindhouse shit. That still, to me, is like one of the most impressive things. Like, I can't believe they got away with this in theaters. I... I, I, I'm I'm still impressed by it, like, all these years later. I remember enjoying it, but that I also watched it during the peak of, like, when I was, a, like, a teenager who was getting into horror, and I, w I just pretty much liked anything that was, like, trashy and gory and, like, you know, oh, all, yeah. all that stuff. I, I like that stuff. During, I like the, the, um, during the period of time when I, I probably would have said that my favorite movie was Rob Zombie's The Devil's Rejects. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> but, I, was but a, I, mean, as, I was a different person. As trashy as it is, like, it is very indebted to, like, the cinema that it's, like, satirizing. Yeah. But I very much enjoy the fact that um, on the Grindhouse Blu-ray, which they actually put on a Blu-ray of Grindhouse, like the whole thing, uh, that you can toggle, like one of the audio things that you can toggle during Planet Terror is like the, when they premiered the movie, they like recorded the audio of the audience interacting to everything. Whoa! That's so awesome! So it's literally just, it's literally just like theater noise of like Dude, everybody Dude, every movie react. should do that. I know. It's like I don't know why no other movie has ever tried doing that. That fucking but I rules. Love that they did it. I love that they did it for uh, Planet Terror. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we're so fucked. Rob Zombie made a movie. Oh yeah, Rob Zombie made many movies. I was I was a big fan of his movies, as you could probably tell. Did you see the monsters? No, I did. That was more recent. I mean, that was like uh, that's more recent. A couple was... years ago. Trying to jog memories of, but like, like I, movies, I was but. super into his Halloween remake, and then the second one after that, which was absolutely completely insane, uh, and not a good movie. <laughs> it turns out. <laughs> I used uh, you to know a, what? I had a poster on my fucking wall of like Rob Zombie's Halloween in my room. I, I mean, we we've, we've all had posters we regret in our room. Most of them I don't regret. I did. I recently looked at like a really old video I made that had, like, shots of inside my room with, like, a ton of posters up and shit. Most of them are still, like... Yeah, I, I was fucking based for that. <laughs> I, I unfortunately cannot say the same. <laughs> and, I, and I can tell you the one poster that is really just, like, the most regrettable of them all. What is it? And it's not a movie poster. It's okay. a poster that I had pulled, like, out of middle school, like, out of, like, a GQ magazine or something. Uh, that was, uh... Current bigot, former model, Miss Tila Tequila. In bikini. And it's just... Bro. Yeah. I'm shaking your hand. You're fucking kidding me. I, just, I didn't have a poster of her, but oh. I lit as a teenager, I literally had like a crush on Teal Tequila. I mean, it, she had a demographic. She had a demographic, bro. I was it, in the demographic. It was me. <laughs> it's me, Austin. Oh, son of a. <laughs> I watched that fucking show. Uh, what the fuck was it called? Like a shot at love with Teal Tequila. A shot at love with Teal Tequila on Dude, VH fucking one. She's like insane. <laughs> she like. No. I can't stress enough how much, like, my modern knowledge of Teal Tequila has shifted my perspective of her in the most drastic of ways. She is in, like in, fucking. She's like fucked in the head. <laughs> in in all. <laughs> Terms, including spiritual, my boner has forever wilted. It's gone. For Tequila Tequila. She is like insane. 
Uh, last I checked, uh, she is. She thinks she is the reincarnation of Hitler. <laughs> um, she. I think she legitimately believes that. Yeah. <laughs> She's fucked, dude. I'm telling you. It's. W it's watch like up. a watch like a YouTube video about like teal tequila or something sometime chat yeah well, the, yeah go look up like a video of her real like, interesting topic yeah and don't no don't be famous on myspace 15 years ago that's all i'll say oh man dude she was i mean she was also one of the first people that i like saw on like tv that would openly like say that she was bisexual that is so that, true, so, yeah. So that was also very, like, influential on me. Uh, I think she has reneged on that in recent years. Damn. What a shame. Which is a damn shame. That was the whole, the whole bit rip. of the show that she had that I, I believe was on VH1, A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila. Uh, mm -hmm. the whole bit was that it was, like, The Bachelor, uh essentially like just a bunch of people trying to date Teela Tequila, but like half of them were women and half of them were men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was like nothing, there was nothing like that before. Like that was, I had never seen anything like that. After expressing her support of Adolf Hitler, and <laughs> Go making anti-Semitic and white nationalist comments, yep. she was expelled from Celebrity Big Brother. Oh man, dude. Yeah, her her story is um, certainly a unique one. There's, there's never been anyone quite like her, that's for sure. Is this TOS? I don't give a shit. Talking I about Tequila Tequila? Yeah, fucking who cares? I, t I told you, dude, the sandstorm is fucking killing me. Yeah, you're kind of getting What your did shit I say about the right sandstorm? Now. We're not, you know, we're really not getting our shit rocked as hard as I thought we were gonna. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Scarlet Phoenix said that's the smallest footnote on the page. <laughs> Ooh, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah. The smallest footnote. Should I just pull up the Wikipedia page and kind of? That's up to you, man. Highlight? Let me let me take a look at this. I'm not going to stop you from talking about <laughs> Teal Tequila's Wikipedia page <laughs> since we I'm, share this like, bond and all. Yeah, she is a uh, flat earther. I know that. That's like that's like entry level crazy person shit, though. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot about this show that she was also on, um, uh, Fuse, the Fuse Network. Uh, uh -huh. Pants off, dance off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shout out she to we got a zoom real. They're dead. <laughs> pants off, dance off, dude. She also appeared as a Hooters girl in the 2007 film I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Oh my god! <laughs> dude! Holy shit! She did! I That's never fucking saw the movie. Right. Oh, I've seen that movie. <laughs> it's not a good movie. Oh, I've seen that fucking movie. Huh? Wouldn't wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, I'm okay, gonna this use is this, this is cool. This is a cool thing to bring up. Um, the the fact that there's literally like a subheader on the Tila Tequila Wikipedia page that literally is just called neo Nazism. Oh. So there, there's a few paragraphs to go over here. Mm hmm. So, so strap in. Okay, I'm strapped in. In December of 2013, uh, Tila Tequila posted an article on her website titled "Why I Sympathize with Hitler Part One." Epic. She also posted <laughs> pro Hitler. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Really epic stuff. She also stuff. posted po pro-Hitler and anti-Semitic comments on her Facebook page, as well as photos of herself as a scantily clad Nazi posing in front of the Auschwitz concentration camp. Ugh. These actions angered her Facebook following. It's angering me right now. 
<laughs> and resulting in Facebook closing her account and removing uh, the material in question. I never thought I'd say these words. Good on Facebook for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good on Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, you did something right. Oh my god, oh. man. Oh. Tequila, tequila, bro. Fascinating oh. subject. Absolutely fascinating. Somehow, like, just gleaning through the rest of it, the rest of it is even worse. I'm not even going to repeat any of this. That's all right. <laughs> so, uh... Somehow, we still have a fucking horse in this race, bro. Like, we might do this. I don't yeah, want to speak too soon, yeah. but... I believe in you. I'm, like, you still fucking in the race, man. You're hanging in there. I'm gonna hit this cacnea. Oh, God. The helping hand. Oh, my God! Flaffy, you oh, beautiful shit. bitch! Oh my god. I can't believe I fucking talked shit on you earlier. I'm so sorry. I, I'm not sorry, but I... Good good on you. You Flappy. beautiful fucking animal. There's a nose oh. pass. Oh, oh, I hate this guy. I think it's because they're in hyper mode, so they hit like a fucking... Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. They hit a fucking huge crit on that thing. Kill! The schnoz will be our final opponent. If, if this schnoz kills you, I, I might not let you live it down. It's not going to happen. They I, do have. I, I, they I, both I, have higher evasiveness now, which I do not like. I, I now pronounce you Chuck fucking... and Larry. Helped me figure out I was gay at seven years old. I. <laughs> How old are you? Should you be here right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel. How long ago was that movie? <laughs> that the math works out. Okay. okay. They're, they're Twenty-three. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Every time Congrats I see a, like a username I don't recognize, say some shit like that, I get a little nervous. Stream is eighteen plus, y'all. Eighteen plus. Well, congrats on the being gay. Yeah. Can we get a round of applause? Can and shout out to on? Chuck and Larry, played by uh, Kevin Smith and Adam Sandler. <laughs> you did this mistake. It's Kevin James. Kevin James. Who's Kevin Smith? He's the crying guy. The crying guy. Yeah, you're right. Shout out to Kevin James. <laughs> Adam Sandler. There's literally been like numerous interviews where Kevin Smith has just been like, I'll be out like going that somewhere and everybody will just point at me and go like, Kevin James, man. I'm doing that right now. We should get Kevin Smith on the stream. Do you think we could? Do you think I can hook I that? I mean, he, 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 everyone has their price. <laughs> I'm not going to pay him. I don't want him on the stream that much. He's literally in my town right now. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. they have, like, the fucking fanboy expo over here at the convention center. Him and Jay are, like, both in my town right now. Cool. And if you pay 400 bucks for, like, a premium fandom package, you can get a picture with both of them and autographs and... 400 bucks else. for a picture like, and an autograph? something to that effect jesus yeah. christ no thanks you're the you're the fan here i just like know about the guy <laughs> That's, i'll pass man no thank you yeah. <laughs> 400 bucks god damn or get to something like anyway i'm just gonna go ahead. cop himself near my <laughs> home and no, we're talking about kevin smith kevin smith it's a different guy the crying man Crying man, get the it man, right. The man who cries. He, he cries all the time, and it's funny. Change the goal. I, I cannot express to you how much I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I could really use $400 for? Paying my fucking bills. 
to like buy yeah. food, put a roof yeah, over my head. Give him the money. Yeah. Give him the money. For Kevin Smith. <laughs> no, it's not for Kevin Smith. Get Kevin here. <laughs> we need Kevin here. The only way he's coming on my stream is if he agrees to do it for free. Never in a million years. Do you well, know that? I, like, I guess it's not happening then. Oh. Um, I can, dude. I can fucking live with never having Kevin Smith on my stream. Well, that I is can. not a de that's not a deal breaker for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will erode and become dust in the wind if this does not happen. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're about to beat this nose pass. We're about to fucking beat this trainer. Oh shit. I'm like gonna win. And then all the I'm balls for win. me. And all this talk about you are fucked from the beginning. No, you did it. Well, I didn't give up. I kept going. Well, that's the fighter's spirit within you. That's right. You got the fucking headband on and everything. That's right. <gasps> Confuse Ray! Fuck yeah, Ooh. man, are you kidding me? I would ray way rather have that than fucking... Snatch. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Snatch. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's Eric. I, I snatch kisses and vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Who <laughs> hates <Great> snatch? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I forgot I'm th this guy. It's been so long since the beginning of this match, I forgot I voiced this guy. Ah, that's okay, no big deal. Look at this, my palms are drenched with sweat. There's no shame in this loss. I'm a lucky guy for being a part of this spectacular battle. I hate snatch, and I love balls. <laughs> I'm glad that I got the opportunity to battle with you. I want you to have this. Consider it a memento of our battle. <gasps> I got a TM! Our first ever TM! Oh, honestly, our battle was fantastic. No I will challenge. never forget the battle we had. To prepare you to have two Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why am I standing here? Pre-gym leader Justin, thank you for the $3 tip. Appreciate it. Congrats on passing the no balls challenge. Put him in the extra balls machine. I heard you love balls. And Gotta explicitly the... hate snatch. Here's the beautiful thing about being bisexual. I love snatch and balls. <gasps> I know. And you can take that to the bank. I feel like I'm getting too Not... comfortable saying the word snatch. 900 <laughs> vine booms in a row. <laughs> I'm getting a little too comfortable saying the word snatch. <laughs> it is the dirtiest. It is way. filthy. It is such a filthy fucking word. <laughs> it's 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 worse than the c word, honestly. <laughs> it is. It completely is. It really is. It is way worse. What about cooter? <laughs> it's not as bad. Sna snatch oh, is way worse. Cooter is like lunges up there. Cooter is like. That feels like a baby word to me. Like you're dancing around it. It's like a grandpa word. Give me that but shit. But won't say the C word. Oh, sorry, cunt. Sorry, I apologize. Is that, is that better? Cunt. The reason I started saying snatch was because that was a word my dad used to say, which is why I consider it such a like filthy Ugh. word. Like my dad would say that. So, like he would. It was always. Yeah. It would always be like jokingly. It, it is kind of like a dad word, but it's like, like a it's a filthy dad word. The the, the, the one that really sucks is a uh, beaver. <laughs> that, that's beaver's another one funny that to me. Sucks. That's that's just like <laughs> silly to me. Beaver uh, beaver feels like something like from like the twenties when like they didn't want to swear or say anything improper, so they just like took the name of like an animal. <laughs> Beaver. Ah, Miss Lady, your beaver is quite appetizing. Yeah, your beaver's looking quite fresh today. <laughs> Mind if I see that clam of yours? <laughs> Poontang? Poontang is... Okay, Poontang is not the most grotesque or, like, 
nasty one, but it is the most, like, derogatory, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that one's definitely the most derogatory against, like, you know. <laughs> huh? You wanna battle me? Sure thing. Battling fans are always welcome. <laughs> Pussy tier list? Pussy tier list. <laughs> <laughs> what an arrangement of words that is. Dude, Quagsire! And a Psyduck! Oh my god, please let me catch the Psyduck. Oh my god. I want that Psyduck. I'm a very vaginas not a bad word kind of guy. Yeah, same. Well, it's just the most, like, clinical the most term. Accurate. Yeah, it's like yeah. penis. Penis. Except I do find penis inherently funny. <laughs> Yeah. Because I have brain damage. <laughs> Twat is a funny one. You know, I associate that word less with, like, vagina and more just, like, as an equal term for, like, idiot or, like, fuckhead. Ma'am, you're twat. That's some, that's some grade <laughs> A twat you got there, Ugh. girl. No, I don't like how that rolls off the tongue, no. Love your twat. <laughs> Hey, can I get some of that twat? <laughs> Enough. Uh -huh. Send me a pic of your twat. <laughs> it's gross. I, I, I feel like I've sinned. Frankly. <laughs> Just by being around me. I, I feel like a sinner. Crossfaded off the twat and meat. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't call it the twat fund. And people are gonna get a whole other idea of like what that's for. <laughs> we don't need to do that. <laughs> You know what the most disappointing thing about this entire conversation? What's that? We've gained 40 viewers. <laughs> During the twat conversation? Yeah. Oh no, if he does Shadow Rush, he's gonna kill himself! Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! Wait, is this gonna- Slam? Does Slam also have recoil? Oh, I don't know. Oh! Nope. Oh! oh. Bulbous Axolotl. I wanna catch him. How many people are watching right now? It was close to 200 a second ago. Damn! Maybe twat's the answer. Maybe we gotta keep saying twat. And our I'm, st I'm sticking are... with Snatch. You're sticking with Snatch? I'm sticking with Snatch. Uh, I'm on I'm on Team Snatch. Em. <laughs> team Snatch. <'em. laughs> Put that on a fucking t-shirt. <laughs> gotta snatch them all. Gotta snatch them all! Gotta snatch them all! We fucking got it. Isn't that Ash's last name? Snatch? No, it's Ketchum. Snatch him. It's Ketchum. Snatch him. It's Ketchum! His last name is not Snatch, snatch him! Look it up! But it, but it could be. <laughs> it's not, though. <laughs> We're back with Ash Ketchup. <laughs> You're way tough. We got a battle again. <sighs> what up, guy? Battle, battle, battle. So much fun. Pokemon battles for everyone. Battles bring me so much joy. Let's get started, little boy. Dr. Seuss would like to battle. Look who's fucking talking, roller boy. Lon. 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 Dude, Azumarill. Mm. Or, or, sorry, Azuril. Shadow? Hmm? <clears throat> oh, yeah, dude, I love Slugma. Let's go. That guy's I going on my fucking team. darkness dude. about you. This guy's got fucking darkness emanating from him. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Vito's got darkness emanating from him. I call up Ape and Phil. We're gonna bomb his house. <laughs> 
We were bombing his house because he got <laughs> darkness inside him. He's all fucking haggard. He's got darkness coming out of him. Is that Vito? That's Vito. Awesome. Garagurapa takes fucking 30 hours to get a flight to Paris. <laughs> oh shit! Killed Bayleaf. Pokemon Center. Get our Pokemon fucking heal up real quick. We're at the Pokemon dagger after 900 battles in a row. Pokemon Center, get my fucking dick sucked. <laughs> fucking haggard, man. There is a very fine line between like my Bam Margera impression and Peter Griffin, and it's a line that I, I mean, walk skate every day. Your asses off. Ride my four wheels. <gasps> oh, oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> causing a ruckus, causing mud. Causing mud. <laughs> <laughs> Bam Margera is another one of those who got like a little bit MySpace famous and then it went to their head. And then dude. became completely insane? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not as insane, but still pretty insane. No, nowhere near as insane, but it's just. <laughs> is, is he, he still, still on the run? On the run? What? Uh, what? Yeah, he uh, punched his brother, Jess. Uh, and Jess called the cops, and Bam, like, escaped into the woods. And he what? was, like, a fugitive. He was, like, a fugitive from the law for, like, two weeks. And I don't... I never heard anything beyond that. Uh, I don't know what? if they caught him or not. <laughs> He's Bam Margera! Where's he gonna go? That's crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he fled into the <laughs> woods. Into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> crazy thing to hear. Oh, okay, there is an update, but it's actually kind of sad, so I'm not gonna... Oh, no! What happened? Uh, uh, he is currently on 5150 hold in prison. No! They got him! Oh, the, the, man. They got him, and he is, was a very, apparently very, uh... Not in, like, good shape. Oh, like, I mean, mentally. I... Yeah, well, I imagine. <laughs> considering yeah. the circumstances. The fucking French caught me. I was hiding in the wood. I, I almost did the Peter voice. <laughs> I was that <laughs> fucking close. Well, it was Lois, the fucking, it just like the, the time the police caught me in the woods. The French caught me. I flew into the woods, but it was of to no avail. <laughs> to no avail. <laughs> Quagmire, you gotta come bail me out. Oh, for 30 long years I have spun these gears. Oh, what's with you, younglings? Do you want to spin gears too? Fuck yeah, dude! Wehehe! Not to disappoint you, but this isn't a job that anyone can just pick up. Look at his mustache. <laughs> Look at my fucking lip fur. Give it another 20 years, <laughs> then come back. Wahehe! Dude, the Waluigi of Pokemon Coliseum. <laughs> I didn't get here in time to make the registration. <laughs> I've heard rumors that if you win the challenge, you get an awesome Pokemon like that Kale did. Oh, sheesh, what am I saying? You have to keep that a secret. Pretend you never heard me, okay? Cool. Wasn't Kale that guy who was hanging around the town's entrance? We should ask him. He might know something. Ha! What's that? You're wanting to know if I have a weird Pokemon? <laughs> if you want to know that much, you may as well see it with your own eyes. Let's fucking go. Rogue. Rogue Kale would like Rogue. to battle. This motherfucker sent out a ferret. Okay, so I gotta ask. Okay. What do you think about Ralts? Let me, let me get let me get a good look at him. All right. Let me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me let me wait for a close up before I. Yeah, get let me my, see. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Ralts. Um. I do find something about him utterly detestable. <laughs> See, I this is- I knew it. I knew this would happen. I, <laughs> I, I can't pin down exactly what. 
Is it the bowl cut? No, bowl cut. It's something else. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to pin it down. Okay, okay. L let me think. He's just a baby? Yeah, babies can suck too. <laughs> Dang it, you heard it here first. You know what it is? I figured it out exactly. Okay. Routes is a corporate mascot. That's why I hate him. What? He looks like a corporate mascot. You think? That they could they could straight up tomorrow replace the Geico lizard with Routes. What do you think Routes is a corporate mascot for? Definitely some type of home insurance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely like if Progressive wanted to get rid of Flo tomorrow and substitute Routes. Dude, Flo? They're going to get rid of Flo for Routes? I think they'd do it. All right, man. Hey, I, I asked, so, you know, I, can, I have nothing to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Furret looks like it would be delicious. That's my, that's my opinion. What? What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm enlightened. <laughs> You're fucked up, man. <laughs> I'm fucking... I'm, I'm so far above you peons. <laughs> you are fucked. <laughs> I am on cloud fucking nine. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. You're not... You, you ain't gonna violate my First Amendment rights. I have a right to say for it is delicious. <laughs> what do you think about C Dot? Fuck this little guy. No, I love C Dot. No, come on. A Acorn looking ass. He's an awesome. Stupid. Look at him. Look at him jump. He does little hops and skips. And he's got like oh, good, big, he's got dead. big old eyes. Look at him. Look at him. He's jumping. What do you want, Machop? Oh, he's jumping. A chop. Don't you dare say you like Machop if you don't like C Dot. <laughs> don't. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> I don't even want to fucking hear it. <laughs> You're fucked. You're I, so fucked. I, I, won't, I won't say anything. I won't say anything. <laughs> This is just the stream from now on, oh, yeah. Ku asking what Phoenix thinks of every Pokemon. It's, it's like, fascinating yeah. because, like, Phoenix only experienced, like, Gen 1 for the most part. So I'm, like, I'm yeah. curious. Look at uh... him! Look at him! Look at him! He spins on his little thing! Uh, no, you know what? He was dying. Too much like a bob Too much like a bob bomb. He's too ripping off the bob bomb. What do you mean, too much like a bob bomb? He's ripping off the bob bombs. Nope. Fuck we, you. We, 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 we don't pay any praise to copycats around here. Fuck you. I fucking love him for his bob bombness. Bah. That was it. That lying mirror B. He came up with that fancy, tough sounding name, Shadow Pokemon, but it was no big deal. You guys be careful too. Don't be played for a sucker. That's all about all they'll give you if you win at the Coliseum. Shadow Pokemon? That's what it's called? A shadow Pokemon? That Pokemon with the black aura? What? Whoa. What the fuck? Well. Oh, dude. I trust things are going according to plan, Mirubi. Oh, yes, indeed, Master. NASCOR! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> NASCAR! <laughs> Our plan is coming along in a lovely, peachy keen way. We have already broken Duke King's spirit. We can do as we please at the Coliseum without his meddling. We've been giving away Shadow Pokemon on the sly to challenge winners for gathering data. Good. The others also appear to be doing their parts to implement our plan. Our Shadow Pokemon plan is falling into place quickly. The final phase is not far off. 
Whoa! This is perking up my spirit and body. Oh, I feel like dancing! Save your dancing until our plan succeeds. I'm off. <laughs> okay, Len. I shall make my return to the cave where my darling Pokemon await my return. Let the music play! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it looks like the Colosseum has a secret. I guess there's no choice but to take part in a battle challenge there. I'm gonna put Slugma. Oh, and. Fluffy. And Quagsire. Mmm. What? Do you have some thoughts about Quagsire? Lighting it looks like it would eat me without hesitation. Is this supposed to be like a negative connotation against the Pokemon? Personally, yes. Okay. And I am Peter Griffin. I am fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> and if you don't think so, then you can just fuck off. I fucking love weed so much. I'll always be getting high as fuck. <laughs> I don't remember the full thing. I've got to post it in fucking scream discussion. Already? No, I'm gonna post it. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna say. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go in through the right side. Legal or not, I'll always be getting high. Yeah, that's as what he said. Fuck. Legal or not, I'll always be getting high as fuck. <laughs> Thank God you're still streaming. I took a break to cry about content. <laughs> what? About my content? Hopefully not. Oh, it could have been a good. It could have been a good cry. Who knows? <laughs> Fuck you, Azuril. He's going for the defense curl. That's good pot. Mm -mm -mm. Love my pot. Mm -mm -mm. What? <laughs> this fucking video I post from Greg the Bunny. <laughs> That's good pot. Mm -mm, the papa. Legal or not, I'll always be getting high as fuck. Look, I love marijuana. I fucking love weed. I fucking so love much. weed so I just love much. How, how sincere he says it. I, he really says it, like with his full chest. I fucking love weed. I I got knocked out. Battle two, baby! We gotta fucking burn through this shit. That only took like three minutes, that battle, so hopefully that's a sign of good things. Oh, he's skating! Oh. <laughs> huh? I've Grim. never seen you around here, big guy. But so what? Let's battle! Roller boy Greb! Dude, Greb? Of course he's got a tentacle. I love Doduo. I had a. Uh, back in my old job when I worked in a pasta factory, my supervisor, um, we, we would play, like, Pokemon on our, like, lunch break all the time. Like, I, we would have, like, our DSs and play, like, Pokemon Sun and have battles. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I, I would, like, breed Pokemon for us and everything to, like, have, like, our dream teams, essentially. Uh, and one of the Pokemon I put on my team was, uh, a Doduo with... Uh, what the fuck is the move? I forget what it's called, but it's it was like a level one Doduo, and it was like a move that brings the enemy down to like one HP, no matter what they are. <laughs> and then I would finish them off with a quick attack. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> he got so fucking pissed. <laughs> Endeavor, Endeavor. Yeah, it was a level one Doduo with Endeavor. And quick attack, the only two moves that it had. 
<laughs> it's really fucking funny. You know what? Controversial statement. Do duo, cute, funny, I like cute. Him. Yeah. Uh, Dotrio, overkill. You're doing it too much. Too much. Yeah, too much. I'm not as much lose, of a fan of Dotrio. Lo lose, lose the third. Lose the third one. It's not. I don't not like Dodrio as much because it has three heads. I just think it's like it loses the charm of being like a stupid fucking bird. Like, because it has it has like actual eyes instead of just like beady dots. And it has like yeah. big eyebrow I hate, things. I, I hate Dodrio's eyes. Should have grown wear. another body instead. <laughs> now, that's not necessarily what I meant. No. <laughs> I don't know. Let's not get carried away here. Doduo has a single brain cell and neither of the heads are using it. The semi-final! Did it heal us? Oh, I shit. wonder. I'm curious. It might not have. It must be my turn. I'm gonna try hard. Adele. Do you listen to this theme? Never mind, I'll fight Somebody someone like, like you. you. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, 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 right. Right. yeah, this shit's going off. <laughs> Reflect. Oh hell yeah! Uh, confuse Ray on Pineco. Cause that that little arpeggiating, like descending thing. Yeah, man. Oh, my homies yeah, love arpeggio. So far. Really. Yeah, just just for that little line. Oh, ooh, <laughs> busting out the guitar. Yeah. Okay. All right. I know, I, you man. Know, the Steely Dan comparisons coming back. You know, I'm I, I'm getting it now. They're they're making sense. Oh fuck! Oh, go off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Eating it up. God damn, these things have such high defense. <laughs> Fucking take that. God damn, these cats are cooking. These cats are cooking. Oh, they're swinging. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Kill this motherfucker. Rob Get him. him of life. Yes. It was a crit. Fall on your fucking head and die. Good. Psyduck, no. I love Psyduck, dude. Let's try superpower. Gangnam style. <laughs> Psyduck's fucking great. I I relate to him as a Pokemon that constantly has a headache. Yeah, honestly, relatable. Kill! Kill he! Hold nothing back! <laughs> I just realized that was a fucking pine cone. Yeah. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Come on. I'll have to try hard. Man, I'm turning I'm time. turning around on this. You are fucking hard to please. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the bit. It's for the bit. <laughs> Always the critic. Oh, are you tense? Cool trainer Rune. Rune. All right, we gotta beat this guy quick so we can. He's got a mud kip. We're fucked. No. Oh. We gotta do the setup. I gotta remember to do setup. We can't just go straight to sweeping. Bitch. Yeah, we we've got like serious concerning music for the last battle. It's boring. Dick. I want the good shit. Yeah, I do miss the old music. This is way too subtle. Kill he! Woo! Okay, let's go. Ooh. All right. That's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. You 
know what? You might have this. It's got a Cacnea. Cacnea gave us some trouble last time. He was he was very hard to kill on that other guy. He's got a, he's got a lot of fucking health. He's got a lot of health. God damn, my confusion's not doing anything. This guy isn't confused at all. Okay, this Cacnea is like not as strong as the other one, I think. <laughs> the other Cacnea was like alive forever. Goodbye. Well, now the Cacnea is burning in hell. Die. Which is real in Pokemon canon. Yes. So. And all Pokemon do go there, unless they are baptized. Yeah, unless they are bathed in the blood of Christ. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> They're given a Christian burial, yeah. God damn fucking surf. That's like when they get hit with surf, it's like that stock sound effect when the zombies despawn in RE3. <laughs> like in RE3 remake during that like room that's like the wave defense thing where you're playing as Carlos and they just like the bodies start like exploding and they just go. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! I'm the best. That's right. You're Me. the fucking Pokemon champion. Yeah, that's right, I am. Oh, you were only pretending to be tense. Da 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 da. Congratulations, you're the champion. Your battles were fantastic. <laughs> The victory means you've won the $5,000 cash prize. I gotta go save the game. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Out of my way, I need to use the computer. Perfect timing. Oops. Yes. Save. Yes. Good. Okay, we man. Did it. That's we, fucking we it, fucking dude. Did it. We're fucking out of here, baby. Uh, we're gonna do movie night in like 35 minutes. So be there, rare. I gotta go get it set up and everything. Uh, see you later, everybody. Bye. Goodbye.